Hey guys, welcome back to Candy and Toy Store Simulator. This is going to be a bit of a different episode. As you may have noticed, uh, yeah, the, the runtime is a bit longer, and that's because it's one giant mega episode. I recorded three before they put out the update that gives you access to the cashier and customization options. So without further ado, let's hop in, and I hope that you enjoy. Hello everyone and welcome back to Candy and Toys Store Simulator. I am a little bit behind. I know the game finally released and everyone's really excited about this one. It is so much fun to play and really easy to just sort of lose track of time. I ended up having a bit of a health issue. Everything is fine. I'm okay and I'm finally feeling better and now I can hop in and get some playtime in. I have missed this game. It's been about a week since I've been able to do anything gaming related and I have been going a little bit mad. But we're finally back in and we're going to go ahead and create a new game. Um, so let's go ahead, hop in and see if there's anything new and exciting to check out. I don't think that there was any updates to this one. I think it was just released. So I'm not super sure what we're going to find when we get in. Oh, hello. Okay. Well, we already read that once before. I don't think we need to read that again. So let's go ahead. Breaking news, the best candy and toy store in city has opened. I don't recall seeing that the first time we played this. Oh, I'm really excited. Really, really excited to get back in here. All right, let's go ahead and open the door. Order goods via computer. Okay, so we know we go to shopping. We order, well, obviously the orange cats. The orange cats are where it's at. And then I think we're definitely going to need a shelf. So we'll grab this one. Actually, maybe we'll start off with the circular shelf. I do really like that shelf a whole lot. And yeah, we do have enough. Oh God, here we go. I'm hitting the wrong buttons already. We do have enough money to afford both of those things. So I'm really, really hopeful that we can just get started off on the right foot because I have store designs in mind. Definitely, definitely going to have our round displays over here. And I think I'm probably going to use those ones for the most part when it comes to the stuffed animals and the cotton candy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just got two achievements, sell 50 items and sell 20 items. I haven't sold anything yet, game, so I'm not quite sure why that gave me that, but i am it's fine, totally fine. All right, let's go ahead and stock up our orange kitties. Perfect. And I know we're going to have to change the price. So we'll go ahead and come over here. And let's see. Four fifty, four sixty. Yeah, let's try to get it to the lowest point where it gives us 460. Perfect. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to open up our store and hopefully we'll start getting some customers. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and check the computer and see if there's anything new. <clears throat> uh, a vending machine, green vending machine and black vending machine. What does the vending machine do? Oh, that's definitely new and different. Uh, oh, we have strawberry donuts? What? Oh my god, I forgot we had candy. Oh my god, I forgot we had candy. All right, all right. so we're definitely going to have to sell what we can and try to get some other stuff in the store. I totally forgot we had any of that stuff. Holy cow, what is wrong with my brain? I can't believe we start off with a pink donut. That's amazing. Yeah, I had no idea. Because I'm pretty sure we started off with uh, the cotton candy, the, uh, those two candies, and then the toys, obviously. But yeah, I did not realize we started with a donut. That's pretty cool. 
Okay, we've got almost 200 bucks. So I think what we should probably do is get ourselves a little bit better situated here. All right, so I know we're gonna have a couple. And I think what I'm gonna do is just put them onto this shelf for now, the wooden shelf. And then let's see, we also will require a glass cake shelf. I'm not going to be able to afford any of this, but that's okay. Actually, you know what we should do? I am really just jumping ahead of the game. Let's go ahead, get that shelf, and we're going to get... You know what? We're going to get rid of that shelf. We're going to pop back inside of here. We're going to grab the circular shelf, definitely, because I know I want the cotton candy on that. Now, can I afford that? I can. Okay. All right. That's great. Oh, and I'm out of kitty cats? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I can't afford that either. Okay, what one can I afford? I can afford the apple guy. Let's go ahead and, aff and afford the apple guy. Let's go ahead and buy the apple guy. All right, we just got to wait for our delivery to get here. Oh, and it's coming around the corner. Now, I don't know if that's going to have all of the things I ordered or if it's going to come in a separate delivery. So we shall see. Oh, that van was just inside that van. That's interesting. Okay. All right. So it's just the cotton candy and the display, which is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and get this rotated around and we'll put the cotton candy right here. Oh, and there is our apple guy. So we'll go ahead and get this one stocked up and that's the whole box. And then we'll come over here and we'll get our cotton candy. And then we have to set our prices. Okay, we're going to throw that box out and we'll come back over here and let's see, can I get to like 440 without people being too upset about that? Uh, we'll see. Okay, and then this one will get to 420 for profits and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully no one's going to be too angry at us in regards to the pricing. Looks like we're okay. Looks like we're okay. They don't seem too upset about it. Okay. Hey, you bought three things. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. So we're definitely going to have to try to keep up with, um, demand. So let's go ahead and order an orange cat. Cause we're almost out of the apple guys already. And the cotton candy. Holy cow. Holy cow. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up. Don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up at all. Okay, our delivery should be here shortly. So we can go ahead. Finish cashing those guys out. Perfect. All right, and here comes our delivery. And I'm already sold out of everything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, give me the kitties. Thank you. All right, we're going to go ahead and get these stocked up inside of here. Perfect. Uh, do I have enough? I think I should. Oh boy, getting stuck on all the things. I should have enough to get the cotton candy and maybe another toy. So let's go ahead and get the round toy. We'll go ahead and order that. Wait for that to show up and then I just have to change the price. Oh, they're not happy about the price. Is that what's going on? Oh my god, you bought three cats. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to sell out before my delivery even gets here. Hello. Two cats for you and two cats for you. And now I am sold out. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and close the store for right now. All right, let's go ahead and get our cotton candy in here. Perfect. Okay. And then our round sparkle uh squishmallow guys okay we're gonna throw that box out and we're gonna adjust the price a little bit let's see 440 would be pretty nice okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right that should be that should be okay and we have 116 dollars so let's go ahead maybe grab another orange cat and can I buy these biscuits? And then I feel like I'm probably going to need a shelf. Let's just buy the plastic shelf for now. And that's $155. I don't have enough just yet, but I should shortly. Well, there we go. All right. 
Oh, he's not happy about the prices. Uh, I don't know what he was angry about, though. What one he was not happy about. Hello, ma'am. Can you please give me a reaction to the pricing? Please? No, you're fine with it? Okay. Uh, sir, I need a reaction to prices. No. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're just not going to know. All right, there's those two guys. And 155 bucks. We can definitely go ahead and buy that. And I think I'm going to put the little shelf of candy over on one of the sides of the register over here. Just to make it feel a little bit more like a real store. Okay, all right. Well, we're a level four. Almost a level five. We are leveling up really, really quickly. How much are the licenses? Let's go back. $119 for this license. Uh, definitely not going to be able to afford that just yet. Oh, I can cash you out from behind you? Well, that's interesting. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. We're almost to level five. Okay. All right. Let's go grab these guys. We will stick these up here and then down here. And then, uh, what are these? Oh, the candies. All right. Uh, we'll drop that on the ground for right now. We're going to move our shelf inside. Uh, let's put it over here on this side of the register. Give me one second, sir. Be right with you. There we go. All right. And then we'll just, uh, throw that on the ground behind it. It's fine. Totally fine. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and cash these folks out. Oh, 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 I forgot to change the price. Forgot to change the price. Uh, profit of 450. What's the lowest before it changes over to 450? 957. All right, we'll take it. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Okay, not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. Uh, I am, however, completely out of orange cats over there. So let's go back to shopping. Buy an orange cat, a round toy, and a red apple? 98 bucks. I'll take it. Okay, enjoy your candy bars. Oh, it seems like they are buying a lot more candy bars than usual, which is really, really nice. Because it took them forever to even buy just one when I first started playing this game. Oh, you bought three? You bought two and a cat? Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't know what that facial expression was. Maybe because I was out of stock of things? I'm not sure. Oh, there's our delivery. All right, let's go and restock our shelves. Oh, gosh, I'm out of cotton candy. This is, this is crazy. This is crazy. All right, and then we've got our blue guys. We can just stick right inside of there. Perfect. I do wish I could combine two different stuffed animals together. That would be really nice, but I understand why I can't. Um, I'm just saying it would be nice if I could combine two. I'm sold out of candy bars. That's insane. Okay. All right. So we should have enough money to hopefully buy all of the other things and get things restocked a little bit, hopefully. All right. Let's go back inside of here. Head over to toys. Oh, wait, we're in toys. Um, or candy, rather. We're going to need cotton candy. We'll grab two of the biscuits. I don't have a thing for the cake yet, or the donuts yet, um, but that's okay. $2.29. Let's go ahead and order that. Okay, and then we can go ahead and cash these people out, and hopefully our delivery will be here very quickly so I can get everything restocked. I keep thinking that is lights. It's just really pretty yellow flowers. It is not lights. Okay, there's our delivery. It's coming. All right, let's go ahead and cash these people out. Man, everything feels like it's going much faster than the first time I played this game. Hello, yay, give me the cotton candy. All right, let's go ahead and get this stocked up. Perfect. Uh, more cotton candy, and then I've got the candy bars I have to get priced up. And then we should be good. End of day. Go home and save. Uh, listen, I will end the day when I'm ready to end the day, okay? All right. So we've got these. Uh, F to drop. We're going to have to change the price. 
1049 is going to give us a profit of five dollars so hopefully people won't be too upset about that go ahead and get these stocked up drop that there is that everything i think that's everything okay let's go ahead and sell all this stuff boy we have a line okay all right man we're making pretty good money now this is awesome super awesome okay all right so let's see here we're gonna go back out we're gonna go to licenses oh my god we can afford level seven or we already got level seven that's crazy that is crazy we are leveling up like like mad like absolute mad okay all right so hmm we're doing okay money wise. I'm just trying to figure out what my next step is going to be. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might want to get level three license and then another two displays maybe and a bunch of cotton candy. Oh my gosh, we're almost out of our candy bars already. That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and get that restocked. We can throw away the empty box out here. Perfect. Uh, excuse me. Let me go ahead and restock that. Fantastic. And we'll throw away that box. And then as soon as we're sold out, I think that's when we're going to end the day and save the game by sleeping in our bed. Um, yeah. As far as the next step goes, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I I would very much like to expand, but I'm not sure. Um, let's go ahead and sell all, all of this stuff out. Okay, so we're out of stuffed animals. We're out of cotton candy. All we've got left are the candy bars. Oh boy, how many did you buy? Three? That's fantastic. Thank you. Hello, sir. Enjoy your candy bars. Okay. All right. So we definitely have money. Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead, buy the license. We're going to go to shopping. We're going to go to shelves. We're going to buy two of the circular shelves. And then... We're gonna get one, two, three, one, two, another box of biscuits, and then we're gonna get one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. How much is that gonna cost me? $800, holy crap. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough money. Everything is sold out, oh boy. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting up to 800 bucks. Okay, so let's go ahead, remove that, and then we'll do just one box each of the toys. What's that bring us to? 600? Okay, one of these, one of these. We'll get rid of the circular shelf. Okay, all right. Okay. Let's go ahead, run home and sleep while we're waiting for the um, supplies to come. Oh, I also need to close my store for this. All right, so we're closed. We're going to run home. Did you just come out of my apartment? Oh my God. I left my door open. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and save. Good morning. All right. Let's run back over to the, sto to the store. Uh, I'm going to close my door so people don't go inside of my apartment while I'm not there. Okay. And then we're gonna take our circular display. We're gonna rotate it around, put it over here. There we go. And now we've got all of our toys, so we can go ahead and get these stocked up here. We're just gonna throw our boxes in that corner and it'll be fine, hopefully. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then our kitty cats are gonna go right here. And then I should have the tan cat, right? Yeah. There's the tan cat. All right, we just have to adjust our prices for this one. Uh, can I please throw the box away? Thank you. Okay, and there's our apple guy. Okay, and that is the entire box of those. Grab our squishmallow. Okay, throw that into the corner. And then what are... 
Oh, we've got more apple guys. Okay. All right. I thought I had more stuffed animals. I guess I don't. That's okay. Totally fine. All right. We're going to throw that over there. Toss our box down there. And then we have our cotton candy. And I'm going to do it alternating like I did with the stuffed animals. So our pink and then our blue. And if I had more boxes, I'd keep it going. But I'm out because I'm broke, which is okay. It's totally fine. All right. Let's go ahead and restock these candy bars. Fantastic. Throw that onto the ground. Uh, and then our apple guy. You know what? We're just going to throw him right down here. I was going to use that box to restock, but it's totally fine. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and open. Um, I have to adjust the price of this guy. We're going to get you up to, let's see, 43807. Okay. All right. And our tan cats, we definitely have to change the price up. Well, how much is it? Um, not even making three bucks off those. Okay. So 430. Hopefully people won't be too upset with that. Uh, we'll see. Hello, sir. You bought an apple guy. Very nice. Those cats look pretty popular, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I already sold at least two of the orange cats. Oh, there's a tan cat for you, and there's the two orange cats. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Now, I know I'm going to need... Oh, my gosh. I forgot to price out the blueberry uh, cotton candy here. All right, we're going to keep that one on the lower end. We'll do $4 in profit for that one. All right. Go ahead and check you guys out. Well, he's happy. There we go. Okay. All right. We're not doing too bad. All right. If we go back to candy, one, two, one, two, three. Can I afford that? I can. All right. Let's go ahead and buy those because I'm probably going to need it. Oh, boy. Those stuffed animals are getting bought like crazy. All right. Oh, my gosh. We're almost a level nine already. Yeah, there's, like, no way to keep up with this at all. All right. Let's go ahead and cast you out. Our delivery should be here momentarily. Yeah, I see it coming around the corner. Hello. Quick delivery. Sure is. Faster than Amazon. All right. Let's go ahead and get these loaded up inside of here. Perfect. And then our blue one. Can go right down here. Perfect. And then our pink one can go right down onto the bottom. I really like the way that that display looks when it's filled up with cotton candy. It looks so cute. All right. Let's go ahead and catch these people out. We've just got monies waiting, waiting to be collected here. All right. And you and you. Oh my gosh, we're up to $206. That's awesome. $230, $247, 273 This is fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Making, making money. Making money. Okay. So if I go to my store, it costs $300 to upgrade the store level and we know that that is an expansion now i wouldn't mind having an expansion but i also would very much like to have money to be able to afford to replace all of the stuff that we are selling out of so i think what we're probably going to do is buy more product try to sell out completely and then hopefully we'll be able to get that first expansion Okay, so I restocked the store about three times and we have a pretty fair amount of money and I think we can actually go ahead and do the upgrades. Let's do two. Oh yeah. Yeah, and we still have a fair amount of money left over, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead. Oh, I ended up buying this case, and I ended up putting in the pink donuts. And that seemed to work out pretty well for us. They are pretty cheap to buy, and I'm still making like $4 profit 
for those guys, which is awesome. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one case over here and I'd like to get one on the other side. Oh, that looks so cute. So cute. Oh, this fell off the counter. Let's go ahead and get this guy back up over he here. Can I please just, all right, that's, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so we do have a good amount of money, but I think I need to see how much I'm going to have left over after restocking everything. So let's go ahead, buy all of that. We'll grab one, two, three, and four, five, and six of the donuts. And that's going to cost me $591, which is fantastic. It's not that bad. We still have a fair amount of money left over, which is great because that means, I think, we can go ahead and buy this license and then go into shopping, buy one, two boxes of those, two boxes of these, and two boxes of the lemon guys. We can go over into our shelving and grab uh, one more of the circular shelves order that all up and we still have money which is amazing i'm so pleased about that okay i'm gonna go ahead stock up all of our shelves and i'll bring you guys back in just a second okay i've got everything stocked up and i really like these stuffed animals on these displays i really 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 truly love it and i just need to go through and start adjusting some of these prices. So we're making a little bit more of a profit here. Um, I think those guys are all good. I think everything else is good. And yeah, I mean, we have a bunch of space now, which is great. I think what I'm going to do is hopefully next episode we'll be able to get the storage room because right now I just have a pile of boxes. I've got a corner of chaos again and I it's going to drive me insane. Definitely going to drive me insane. The one thing I do want to check before we end the episode is actually price out these vending machines. Okay, so it's 4.499. So just about 4.50 for these vending machines. And I'm not quite sure what they do. The other thing I want to check out is if hiring is available. It is not. Okay, that's totally fine. But yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. I absolutely love this game. I'm so happy to be back in this world. I'm so happy to be able to start playing things again. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can get into next episode. Hello everyone and welcome back to Candy's and Toy Store Simulator. I hope you guys are all doing great. I'm doing pretty good myself and I'm so excited to get back into our little shop here. So last episode, we ended up starting completely over, um, which was a good idea because it turned out that they added uh, the strawberry donuts to start off with and I had no idea that those were a thing. They also added vending machines and I would like to try to get one of those today as well as the storage room. So let's go ahead, pop inside of here and see, I think it's, oh no, not shopping. I think it's under my store. Oh, oh, it's only $44.99. Okay, we're going to go ahead and buy that. Can I now open the doors? I can. All right, perfect. How much are the shelvings? So I think it's under shopping and then shelves. No? Do we not have storage shelves in here anymore? Uh, oh, storage shelf. Oh, it's got its own little section. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy one of those because we have a corner of chaos and I would very much like to get ourselves a little bit more organized and situated. And I think the next license that we're going to check out is probably going to be this one, which adds a whole bunch of stuff. And yeah, I can't, I can't, I don't have um, enough display units to implement all of these things into the store. Um, so I do know that there's going to be another donut, which is awesome. That means we can balance out our... Um, 
our little cake displays by having another one over here on this side, which I'm really excited about. So let's come outside here. Oh, that thing is kind of big. That's what she said. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that guy in and then we can go ahead and re uh, restock. No, we're not restocking. We're putting our boxes away. We're getting ourselves organized. And these doors are going to drive me a little bit batty. Um, you, you guys know how I am. I run into all of the doors all of the time. It's just always, always, always chaos wherever I am. Okay, so as far as store design goes, I know it's going to make more sense once we're able to fully expand, but I do think I'm going to continue to use these displays for our stuffed animals. I really, really do like the way they look. Now, with that next license, it's going to add another cotton candy and uh, what looks to be a wooden toy and a new chocolate bar, I think. Yeah, okay, so the, we have one shelf space available over here for our candies, and I think I'm going to continue to use these little ones for our candy bars. I'm not sure. Um, as far as, like, the wooden toys, let's see, how many are there going to... Oh, there's a chair? Oh, what is that? Is that a butterbeer? Oh, my God. I, I'll tell you, I could totally go for a butterbeer. Um... But I think what I'm going to end up doing is using these guys and having them in the center section of our store. And I also know that there are these other double-sided shelves. Yeah, a double-sided shelf, $349. And I'm not quite sure what I'd be able to fit on there. And I'd be very curious about trying those out. So I think what we're going to do is try to make some cash today. And then, ooh, oh, did I adjust the price of the shark? I did. Okay. All right. Oh, my gosh. Slight panic attack. It's fine. It's fine. Everything, it's fine. It's, it's all good. It's all good. All right. So let's go ahead and cash these people out. Now, I did see the, um, the teddy bear. And I'm not quite sure what the teddy bear or the decorations do. And it looks like we'll be able to afford the decorations. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. Oh, we got banners. That's cute. Now I'm wondering if that's going to attract even attract attract even more customers to our store. And if that's the case, that's going to be phenomenal. Because that means we'll be selling even more stuff. And I mean, it's going to be a bit of a pain to keep up with, but it'll be fine. Now that we have the storage room, I can actually buy excess and not have to worry about having a plethora of boxes in my quarters of the store and tripping over them all of the time. Hello, ma'am. Enjoy your frog and your donuts. It's like little party karopies. Actually, do I have any more in the back? I think I do. Uh, yeah, okay. So I've got more of the new stuff. I have an extra cotton candy and extra candy bars. So let's go ahead and cash you out. Perfect. And you, sir? Fantastic. All right. Now, I do definitely, definitely want to try getting the vending machine. And I'm actually going to pop over to the Steam page and do a little bit of reading about what that actually is going to do for us. Okay, so the store page just says add a vending machine, fix some bugs, improve gameplay. And that's it. So I don't know what it actually does. And I, do, yeah, I don't see any description about what the vending machine does. I guess you just sell stuff from it. It's like a one-time purchase, maybe? I have no idea. No idea. But we're definitely making some cash, which is phenomenal. All right. Go ahead and sell everything out. I'm going to try to um, sell everything out today and see where we're at money-wise. And then hopefully we'll be able to buy that vending machine.
Okay, so I did a little bit of rearranging and I did some more restocking, but we are definitely selling out of stuff like crazy, which I'm not super upset about. So let's go ahead, restock our tan cats, start clearing out our storage room a little up uh, and throw that away a little bit. Uh, let's see, is there enough space? No, that's okay. How about our blue star guys? Yep, okay, perfect. And I think we actually have enough product in here where we'll be able to make up some money after spending a whole bunch on the brand new vending machine, which I'm really excited about getting, really excited. I am dying to see what that is gonna be all about. Like, do I have to restock it with candy bars or does it, is it just like a one-time purchase where I can just make passive income? Cause that would be pretty cool. Not upset about that idea at all. All right, anyone else? Okay, so we do have some people still shopping around, which is great. And here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, it's so cute. Snacks, drinks, and coffee. Oh yeah. All right, so let's spin this around over here and get this up against the wall a little bit further away from the door. There we go, okay, all right. So let's go ahead and cash these folks out. Hopefully we'll get some more customers in here and maybe someone will try out the vending machine. I really, really hope that's not just a decoration and that it actually sells stuff. Uh, oh, 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 we got our first person. Okay. R to check vending machine. Oh, money in machine. Okay. Okay, that is really cool. So it looks like I made a dollar twenty in profit from whatever it was he bought. Looks like one of the purple or the diet colas. All right, what else is in here? <gasps> Sprinkle donuts. Oh, that's really cool. Ooh, cheddar and garlic cheese puffs, toasted and salted peanuts. Blue lemon, cherry cola, vanilla cola, lemon cola, lime cola, diet cola. Face melt. What is face melt? Ooh, looks like uh, coconut milk. Nice. Orange juice, double shot coffee, grape punch, ginger ale, strawberry milk, and chocolate milk. Oh, man. I haven't had a glass of strawberry milk in ages. I might have to get myself some strawberry syrup. <laughs> that sounds so good. I could definitely go for an ice cold glass of strawberry milk. All right. Okay. Well, we're definitely making profit. Super excited that we got the vending machine in. Really like that we can have at least some sort of passive sort of income where once we sell out of everything, we'll still have stuff over there that we can sell. That's just pretty cool. I like that idea. Definitely like that idea. Okay, so the, I think the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is, let's go back over here, go to my store. I think I wanna get the teddy bear and see what that's all about, but I'm gonna hold off until we have a little bit more money because I am gonna have to restock everything that we're selling out of. So I do want to make sure that I have enough money to afford restocking before I buy the uh, the teddy bear guy and see what that's all about. So I'm going to run this game a little bit longer. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to run it a little bit longer. I'm going to sell out of everything. I'm going to restock the shop. And actually, hold on a second. We have another license we have to get. So maybe I should do a little bit of plotting here. Okay, so I need one of the um, glass cake refrigerator shelves. I wouldn't mind getting a double-sided shelf as well. And let's see what that double-sided shelf is gonna do for us um, because that might be a better way to sell the candy. I'm not sure could also be a better way to sell the stuffed animals. Again, I'm really not sure. Don't know how things are going to get um, placed onto it. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to check that out. Okay, our delivery should be here momentarily. Oh, there it is. Hello? Hello? 
Please give me my shelves, thank you. Huh. Okay. So maybe I can put that right in the middle here. All right. Oh, and we just sold another thing out of our vending machine. Looks like we're going to sell something else out of it too. All right, so let's check. Recharge for $15. $17 and we made 32 so we'll collect and then we'll refill okay okay that's not bad that's not bad okay so let's go ahead and grab these I would like to see how things get stacked over here because I'm wondering if maybe that's how we should do our oh oh that's interesting okay Huh. Do I have any more candy bars? I do. Let's go ahead and throw that out. We'll grab that box. And we'll restock. Yeah, that might be a better place to put all of our candy bars. And then we can take this shelf. And we'll put it right over here. Get it nice and even. As much as I can. Oh my gosh. And I have a gigantic line of people. So let's go ahead and start cashing these folks out. There we go. End of day. Yeah, I know. I don't sleep. I never sleep. I just stay open all the time. I have a case of insomnia. Serious insomnia. It's totally fine. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're doing pretty good. Um, Definitely, definitely going to have to buy some new stuff here, though. So let's grab, let's see, we've got one, two, three, two of these guys. We need one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Candy, one, two, one, two, three. We'll grab another box, each of those. One, two, three, four, five, six of our donuts. Okay, okay, that's not bad. I was definitely able to afford restocking everything, and I still have some products on the shelves. Not much, but we have some. Now, I'm wondering what that bottom shelf would be for, because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this backside of the shelf to sell our wooden toys once we get that license. So I'm going to go ahead, finish selling out of all our stuff, wait for our delivery to get here, and then I'm going to do some restocking, and then hopefully we'll be able to get that next license. Okay, so it turns out you can put the vending machine outside, and honestly, I might just do that. Um, that way I have more space inside for the shelving that we're going to eventually need. Uh, we're very close to selling completely out of the mega bars, and yeah, I, I think that that is, as soon as we're done selling out of those, then I'm going to go ahead and restock everything. We're still doing pretty good cash-wise. We've already bought all the stuff to restock everything, so I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, so I restocked the store. We're definitely making some money. We have a bunch of money, and I think we can actually afford to get this license as well as the other actually did i buy one i don't think i did i did not okay we need at least let's see here uh, we need one more of the circular stands mm, maybe two and then we should be good okay so let's go back into shopping did i not buy the license no, I did. There's the avocado. We'll grab one, two, three of those guys. We'll grab one box of the wooden trucks and see how those sell. We'll buy a box of that and a box of the cotton candy. Actually, we'll grab two boxes of the cotton candy. Um, did I add the shelf? I did not. Let's go ahead and add that to our cart and go ahead and order up. Yeah, we're doing pretty good money-wise, I think. That vending machine is awesome. I like that I can hear when people are using it. You hear like the sound of tin cans dropping. It's really cool. Um, but I don't hear it running. Because if you come next to it. Yeah, you can hear the humming of the machine running. And that was kind of driving me crazy, which is why I wanted to see if I could put it outside. All right, so let's grab our shelf here. 
We're going to rotate this guy around. Oh, wait, hold on one second. We have to use the new tool they gave us, which is this guy right here. And we use this to sell shelves. So hold E to sell. Perfect. Okay. Wow. I only got 17 bucks back. Okay. It's just going to live on the floor and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. Let's grab our box of avocados. Go ahead and put these up here. And then we'll grab our box of chocolates and put these down here. Okay. Perfect. And then our little wooden truck guys can go over here. Oh, wait, they can go on top? <gasps> I didn't realize I could put things on top. That's really cool. Okay. And then we'll grab our cotton candy, which we're going to keep with the avocados. Margarita cotton candy and avocado stuffies. I'm in. All right. Those guys can go right down there. And we're just going to have it alternating. All right. And our cotton candy right here. Perfect. I wouldn't mind actually alternating the pink sharks with the pink cotton candy. And then I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about the blue ones. I'm going to have to see what other toys we're going to get um, with future licenses. And I think that's everything, right? Okay, I just have to come in here and adjust the prices a little bit. Uh, you know what? We'll do four bucks for these guys in profit. And then this one's going to be... Can I do four fifty without people getting angry about it? Okay. Oh, wait. Didn't we get chocolate donuts as well? We did. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes of those. Go ahead and order that up. Let's go ahead and start cashing some people out because our store is getting really full of customers. Oh, we have to adjust the prices of the wooden trucks as well. Totally forgot about that. Uh, can I get you up to four without people being super upset? We'll have to see. We'll have to see how that goes. Okay. All right, cash everyone out. Look at all that money we're getting. I'm so excited about it. I also need to check the vending machine. I forgot to do that while I was outside. Oh, there's our delivery of our chocolate donuts. So let's go ahead, sell everything. Okay, all right, I need to close my store. So I'm going to just cash out all the people that are already in here. Okay, and I'm not sure how many that is. What, just two more people, I think? Anyone buy any of the new stuff? I don't think so. Oh yeah, he bought an avocado. Very nice. Okay. All right, so let's go grab all of our chocolate donuts, which are my favorite. Absolutely my favorite. And there is a little local donut shop to, um, to me that sells the most amazing donuts. They have a chocolate frosted with coconut and it is so good. Oh my God. I don't know how they make their dough, but it is so delicious. Oh man, I'm gonna, I have to go there again. It's been a while since I've been there. But yeah, the best donuts in the entire state for sure. For sure. If you want like regular donuts, there's another donut shop that has like absolutely insane donuts that are just like chock full of candy and cereal and bacon if you want it. It's it's crazy. All right. So let's go ahead, collect our money, refill the machine. Perfect. Okay. And then I think I'm going to just go ahead and restock oh, the one box of candy. Got it. Great. Uh, restock all of the stuff that I have back here. And then I think I'm probably going to go ahead and buy all of the stuff that I'm selling out of and just make sure that I have excess. Okay. All right. So we're definitely going to need uh, at least a box of everything we did sell completely out of the sharks. So let's go over here. We'll go back into the toys. We'll grab two boxes of the lemon three of those guys. We'll grab two of those, two of those, another box of the tractors, two of these, one, two, three of the orange cats, one, two, three of the tan cats, one, two, three of the sharks, two boxes of those, one, two, and three of that, one, two of those, one, one, one 
of those and then we'll grab a box each of the donuts and I'm just short of being able to afford that so let's go ahead and open up our store as soon as we get a customer in here I'm going to close again all right come inside the store please thank you all right, and then we're going to close because whatever he buys is going to more than cover the cost of restocking everything. And perfect. All right, let's go ahead and order that up. Oh my God, we have $6. $6 left. Man, what an expensive day. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. We did really, really well. We got the new license. We got some new shelves. I really like this shelf. I think it's really cool. And I like the idea of having it stocked up with all of our candies. I'm not quite sure what's going to fit down here just yet, but we'll figure it out. And I think in the future... I'm probably going to alternate our stuffed animals with our cotton candies. I really like the way that that looks. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And until next time, guys, I will see you all later. To candy and toy store simulator. I hope you're all doing great. I'm doing pretty good myself and I'm so excited to get back into this. So last episode we got um, a new license which gave us the avocado guy, the green cotton candy, chocolate frosted donut, the wooden truck, the candy bar, and we are really making some progress towards having a, a full-fledged candy and toy store. However, we are really, uh, really hurting on storage shelf space because I went ahead and restocked just about everything and we've unlocked this license and we're very close to unlocking this license. So we have some money to play around with and I think the first thing that we're going to have to do is actually go into storage shelves and grab like three more. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that should be good. That should definitely be good. And then once I get everything up off the floor and I can see what I have, I'm going to have these organized um, a little bit. I'm going to have one for stuffed animals. I'm going to have one for the cotton candy. I'm going to have one for the chocolate bars and I'm going to have one for the donuts. Um, now I am going to have to actually, did I check this? Uh, it looks like I sold at least something. So let's go ahead and refill that. Oh, order 30 shelves. All right. I just got an achievement for ordering 30 shelves. Don't know where I ordered 30 shelves from, but that's fine. I'll take it. I will take it. All right. Let's go ahead and get these guys in here. And then I'm going to try to get some organization done. Oh boy. I think we're going to need to expand it a little bit here. Okay, so I think I'm going to put the candy bars over here on this side for now. We're going to put our cotton candy over here. And then we're going to have our stuffed animals over there. Oh, I need one more shelf for the donuts. Do I have one more out here? I do. I sure do. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy flipped around. Put it over here next to the door, grab our donut, put it up there, and then we have our stuffed animals that we can get inside of here. Actually, can I restock? Oh, I surely can. All right, so that clears out that box. Uh, can I restock any of you guys? Oh, I think my box is empty. All right, let's go ahead and empty that out. Can I move this trash can? I cannot little bit disappointed, but that's okay. I was really hoping I could have one inside of the store or at least right inside of our storage room, but that's fine. What is this cotton candy? Let's go ahead and put that one up there. And then we have a box of chocolate bars right there. And is that everything? I think so. Okay. So what do I have left for stuffed animals? I already restocked those guys. I definitely need to restock these blue guys here. Okay, and then I've got our uh, our apple guy. We'll put him right there. Okay, and then, oh wait, we have another box of cotton candy. Let's move that out of the way. Get this organized a little bit here. How about the tan cats? 
looks like they're pretty good. Okay, so I think I need more party karopis and sharks and these red polka dot guys and the lemon guys. So let's go ahead, order up some of those. We should have enough money to get this done here. And we'll grab another box of the sharks just to be on the safe side. So let's go ahead and order that up. Wait for our delivery to get here, get our shelves restocked, and start our day. Okay, there is our delivery. So let's go ahead and get our shelves restocked here. All right. That's those guys in. Now we've got our lemon guys. I think these ones have been selling pretty quickly. These and the, uh, the party frogs and the sharks have definitely been selling the fastest, I think. All right, so that's the end of that box. Let's go ahead and get our lemon guys restocked out here. Looking good. Okay, and I do need to check and see what that next license is going to give us. Um, because then I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do as far as shelving goes. Uh, let's see, we've got our party frogs right there. We can stick that shelf, that box on that shelf. Not that shelf on that shelf. All right, and then restock this guy and that guy. Get this into our storage room. Oh, much better not having the floor completely covered in boxes. It was much worse before, I promise you that. <laughs> okay, all right, and there's our lemon guy. Okay, all right. Oh, looks like I could definitely restock some more of the avocado dudes. So let's go ahead and get these guys in here. Looking good, looking good. Okay, and do I have any blue? I don't. Let's go ahead and buy some pink donuts and some blue cotton candy. So we'll grab two boxes of those. We'll grab two boxes of those. And I think we should be good. Go ahead and order. Wait for that to get delivered. And there we go. All right, let's grab our pink donuts. Get these restocked here. Oh, that's the end of that box. All right, and we've got one more. It should be enough to fill this guy up and have one extra. Oh, hold on. Can I put that there? There we go. All right, perfect. Okay, our strawberry donuts are fully restocked. Our blueberry cotton candy is fully restocked. Let's go ahead and get that on the shelf over here. Definitely going to need to expand. Oh, I didn't want to open that. Our storage room pretty soon, I think. Um... Okay, I think everything is looking pretty good. I think we can go ahead and open the store. And uh, yeah, I think how I'm going to do this is sell out everything. Because that, that seems to be the best way to go about it. Yeah, sell out everything, including all the stuff back here. Um, and then we will check out what we have as far as licenses. I do think... We might need to look at upgrading our store because we're very quickly running out of space here. I have enough room for one more shelf over there. And if we take a look at the license, that's going to add five more products. Now, I'm going to need another dessert uh, thing over here. And I think I'm going to add it to this side. So we'll have a, a spot for the cupcakes and then... Let's see, we've definitely got space over here for baseballs and for the candy bars over there. So I think I just need one more shelf, which I could put right over here, one of these circular ones for the other two stuffed animals that we're gonna get. And I think that's how we're gonna do that one. And maybe after we get that license, we'll look into expanding the store a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell out of everything and see how much money we have at the end of that.
All right, it has been a while since I last saw you guys. It's taken forever to sell everything out, and we had a whole lot of back stock, which is perfectly fine, perfectly fine, because we have so much money right now, which is amazing. I mean, probably not going to have a lot after I buy all the stuff to restock everything, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. We should have enough to at least get a couple of things done here. So we've got, well, let's see, we've got two more pink donuts. We're completely sold out of all the other donuts. We've sold out of pretty much everything else except for the candy bars, which is perfectly fine. So let's go ahead, cash these folks out. Um, I really, really want him to buy at least one other thing. Oh, God, he's not happy about the prices. That's fine. All right. Okay, okay. So that brought us up to over $4,000, which is awesome. It's also 340 in the morning. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, wait for these to get sold out, and then I'm going to close down the shop. And I think from that point, we're going to go ahead... We have two licenses that are going to be available to us. We have level 22 and level 25. We're very close to getting level 30 as well. Um, but the first thing I want to do is get this license, level 22, and make sure we have the shelving that we're going to need for it and so on and so forth. So I think I just need one more display, uh, one of these displays, and then I need another of the circular displays, and that should be fine. So let's go ahead, buy the license, just start getting everything that we're going to need. Um, we're going to have to go to shopping. We are going to need one of these guys. We're going to need at least one of these guys. And then we're going to need maybe one or two. I'm going to go ahead and buy two of those shelves. We're going to order up all that stuff. Oh, is that the last donut? I think it was. Do I have any more candy bars? No. Okay. I've completely sold out of everything. So let's go ahead, close the store. Oh, she's going to buy something out of the vending machine. Totally fine. Go ahead and do that. Thank you. Oh, she's going to buy more stuff. Okay. All right. I'll collect, refill. All right. And we still have a fair amount of money, which should be enough for us to go ahead and buy all the stuff we're going to need. So we do, let's see, one, two, three of the lemons. One, two, three of those guys. One, two, three of these guys. One, two of those. We've got green apples now too. We need... We'll do two of the green apples. We'll get a box of the balls, a box of the wooden toys. One, two of those, two of these, actually three of those. Two, three of the cats, two of these cats. Uh, one, two, and three of the sharks. We'll grab one, two, and three of the sheep. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And hopefully, Oh, wow. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to fit all this stuff inside of the store. So let's go ahead, get our shelves in place for the first part of this adventure that we're about to embark upon. All right. Looks good. We'll grab this one and we're going to go ahead and put this one right up front over here. Fantastic. And then we just have to put our storage racks uh, somewhere. Oh boy. I am very quickly running out of room back here. Uh, get that plonked in right there. We'll grab one of these guys. Oh boy. We have all of the stuff that's going to have to get put away. So let's go ahead and do a, uh, quick speed lapse.
Okay, so it looks like I'm short by one red apple guy and I forgot to buy all of the cotton candy. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Okay, so we need a box of this, a box of this, a box of that, a box of that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And actually, oh, hold on a second. Uh, wrong button. Okay, I think I'm going to put the pink, the strawberry cotton candy with the sheep, and then I'm going to alternate the blueberry and the margarita cotton candies together. So let's see here. I think that's all I really need, so let's go ahead and order that. Wait for our delivery to get here. Oh, wait, did I not buy the red apple? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, this guy, please. Go ahead and order that one as well. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and get our candies loaded up inside of here. Okay, I have one left in this box. Fine, totally fine. All right, and our cotton candy, we're gonna do our blue. Uh, toss the box, grab our pink. Pink is gonna go over here with the sheep. Fantastic. And our other pink one, perfect. And then we need our margarita cotton candy. Oh, that's on the wrong shelf. Fix that real quick. All right, toss that box out. Grab this one. Oh, geez. Uh, this shelf, please. Thank you. All right. And then I have my blue cotton candy. I need one more box of the blue and that should be refilled completely. So let's grab that guy. And fill that all up. Looking good, looking good. All right, and then our sweet chops are gonna go over here. Okay. And are we completely, yeah, we are completely full on that. So we'll put our cotton candy on that shelf. And then we've got our other mega bars. So we'll get these loaded up. Oh wait, yeah, yep, perfect. Perfect. Okay, and then our apple guys. Loaded that back up. Looking good. And we're all set with the pink cotton candy, so we'll get that on the shelf. And then our last candy bar. All right, let's go ahead and just fill this up completely, or as many as we can. All right. Yeah, we are looking really, really good. Uh, I think we can go ahead and open up the store. Actually, let's see here. How much is, uh, let's go back to licenses. $3.99 for this one. We're going to need at least one more shelf the round display. Do I have anywhere I can put that? I do actually. Okay. So let's go ahead, unlock that license. We're going to go to shopping. We're going to grab the circular display. We're going to grab the, uh, two of those, you know, we'll grab three of those cotton candies. I don't know what flavor that is. Orange, maybe. Um, we'll go back up to toys. We'll grab a box of that. And then we're gonna grab three boxes of those guys. Go ahead and order. And I'm not open yet, right? Okay, good, because I have to adjust some prices here. So let's go ahead and adjust the price of the baseball to $3.70 profit. And then we've got our green apples. Um, we'll do $4 profit for that guy. And these are looking pretty good. I have to adjust the price of this one though. Ooh, looks like maybe I can get $5 off of those guys. That would be fantastic. Oh wait, I need that display. And we can put that, do I have enough room? Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to move this one. Oh, nope, <laughs> move the shelf over a little bit. Now I should be able to get this one to fit inside of here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just rotate it around and then plonk. Perfect. Okay. So then we'll grab our little, what is this? Like digital camo guy. Those are cute. Uh, throw that out. Grab our other box of the digital camo guy. 
Uh, hold on a second. Is that one full up? Oh, it is. Okay, all right. We can put those guys down there. Uh, throw that away. Grab this. Fill that up. Put this guy over here. And we've got... I don't even know what flavor this is. Oh, banana! Banana! Cotton candy. I can smell the artificial banana flavoring from here. All right. Let's grab that, put this into the back room with the rest of our cotton candy. Oh, I didn't want to open the box. There we go. E to place. E to place. Okay, and then we've got these, like, little stars on wheels. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and adjust our prices for this stuff. Uh, we'll do 360. Let's see, what's the lowest I can get it? 581. Okay. 360 profit for that. And then we have, let's see, maybe 420 profit for that. And then this guy. Can I, you know what? We'll do a $4 profit for that guy. Okay. All right. We are really looking pretty good now. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and open. I am going to pop inside of here really quickly. Now, I know we can't do any hiring, but we're not too far off from getting this upgrade, which we could really use um, because we're going to be getting, let's see, the level 30, which is going to need another cake display another um, display for the cotton candy and a display for the cats. Hmm, how am I going to do this going forward? I suppose, I suppose I'm gonna have to think about that a little bit and I'll bring you guys back once I have a plan. Okay, so I've been running the game for a bit, and I've definitely made some money, which is pretty fantastic, and I think I have a plan. So instead of getting an entire new display case just for the cakes, I think I can fit them in the bottom over here. I'm not sure how many of them I'd be able to fit, but they're going to go just in the bottom of the display cases we already have. And then I think I'm going to grab one more of these round display units, stick it over here, and then we'll use that for the cat and the cotton candy. And I think that should be just fine for us. Um, the other thing I am thinking is moving the banana cotton candy to be with the calico kitty. And then um, we can put that cotton candy over here with our glitch camo um, Squishmallow that we've got on display right there, and I think that it should look a little bit better. Um, kind of match a little bit together, and yeah, uh, so we're definitely, definitely making progress. We just need to get to level 30, get that license. I'm actually gonna go ahead, come inside of here, grab our display shelf order that up and then that way we'll have it ready to go as soon as we can get that license and he's making a face at something are you upset about the prices on this stuff uh let's see we'll do four seven sixty four 764 for that 1045 let's see we'll do 1037 for those are these too expensive? I really don't think I have the price set too high for these guys. And no one has really bought the new chocolate bars either. Oh, there's our display shelf. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. Get stuck on the door on our way through. Rotate this around and then put it right over here. Now, I did move the uh, vending machine back inside earlier because it was kind of a pain to um run outside to refill it and i i'd rather just have it close by so i can refill it easier and faster uh yeah we have a whole line of people that are ready to just get cashed out that's crazy crazy how quickly this line gets completely full of people all right okay 
doing pretty good. Uh, the other thing I was thinking of doing is actually upgrading our decorations. Oh, we got more banners now. Very nice. And I'm hoping that that's going to attract more customers. I don't know if it does anything to the outside, though. Uh, no. No, it does not, which is fine. It's okay. It's okay. But yeah, hopefully that attracts more customers and um, the, they won't be super upset about the high-ish prices that we have here. I mean, I don't have them set completely astronomical, but yeah, some people get a little upset about the prices and that's, that's fine because more people tend to buy than not buy. So it balances out, I think. Okay, we're really close to hitting level 30. I think by the time we're done cashing all these people out, we should be there. Oh, 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 can I get one more customer? Thank you. You should do it. There we go, level 30. Okay, so let's go ahead, buy that license. Super excited to have Calico Kitties. Uh, that's not shopping. <laughs> All right, so we'll grab one, two, three of the cats. Pop back over into the candy. We'll grab one, two of those cotton candies. And then one, two, three of the cakes. And hopefully that should be pretty good for us. And we'll be able to fit those inside of all of our cake displays. All right, and we still have a whole bunch of products in here. I did actually clear out the stock room, so we are out of back stock. Um, so we're gonna absolutely have to go through and restock everything that we have for sale for now. Um, but I am gonna wait until we're sold out of everything. That's just the way I prefer to do it. Um, yeah, that's just how it's going to have to be for now. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to do... What is this? Valley Clouds? I wonder what flavor that would be. Valley Clouds. Oh my god, the Calico Kitties are so cute. I love them. Okay, and this is what I was really interested in seeing. Okay, so I can fit, fit three per section down there, which is awesome. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get the rest of our cotton candy in here. Okay. And I think I need one more box of cats and then one more box of the Valley Cloud cotton candy. Oh, you don't go down there. You go up here. There we go. Okay. We'll get that over there. Run back outside, grab our cakes. Definitely going to have to adjust the prices on these before I cash anybody out. Um, and then we can put these three over here. Oh man, they look so good. Like they look kind of plasticky and like toys, but they do look delicious. All right, let's go ahead and put our cats right there. Come over here. Ooh, man, selling cakes might be the thing to do here. All right, 740 for profit which be, would be fantastic. Okay, and I have to adjust the price of the Valley Cloud. Let's see, can I do 420 for that one? And then 420, maybe 430 for these guys? All right, now we can go ahead and cash everybody out. Okay, anybody buy any of the new stuff? Ooh, you bought a cake. All right awesome. Man, you know, I'm wondering if I could turn this whole place into just a bakery and sell nothing but baked goods and stop selling toys. Or if I would lose customers based on that. You know what would be really, really nice? I do wish we had a statistics um, menu, like end of the day statistics, because you don't automatically close. C customers come in all night. All night, every night, all day, every day. 
Um, but it would be great if we could have an end the day screen like we do in Supermarket Simulator. I would love to see how I do at the end of each day. I think that would be super awesome to have because then I could kind of keep track of what products are making me the most money and what sells the most. I think something like that would be fantastic. And maybe eventually the devs will add something like that. I know that they have a few other things planned for the game, and I really do hope that they continue to update and um, and keep up with this game because it's a lot of fun. It's super cute. It's very simple, but man, it's so much fun. I love, love being in this game so much. But yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and finish cashing out all these people. It's I'm, I'm definitely going to close the store at 9. So as soon as we hit 9 o'clock, which is coming up real quick, okay, I've got a couple people at my register right now. I've got one new customer, uh, possibly another, maybe two more. Oh, hurry up, man. It's 9 o'clock. I got to close. Are you coming in here, ma'am? You are. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close now. We'll go ahead and cash these folks out. There we go. Oh, it sounds like somebody just bought something out of the vending machine. So let's see. Yep, all right. Well, I made about $10 from the vending machine, which is pretty cool. All right, and I've got two more customers in the store. So let's go ahead and cash you out. Man, I'm already almost a level 31. That's crazy. Crazy how quickly you level up in this game. All right. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit all the things, do all the stuff, um, and leave a comment if you want to see more or if there's something else you'd rather see or whatever. If you have ideas for the displays, definitely feel free to let me know. And until next time, guys, I'll see all of you later. Oh,